Hello guys, and welcome to your first MATLAB tutorial. Uh, this is Chris, and I'll be talking about the basic MATLAB interface, uh, mostly relating to the windows and how we can turn them on and off and move them about the screen, and etc., etc. But um, why don't you start by opening up MATLAB and bringing it up on the screen. Uh, so here we have MATLAB. Apparently, version 7.12.0, I think that's release 2011A, I guess. But yours may be different, and they're probably pretty much, for the most part, similar. So just stay tuned. Just keep watching this tutorial. But, anyways, um, so when we open up MATLAB, we have a bunch of windows here that come uh, pretty much standard with MATLAB. And we can move them around the screen. Uh, let's say, let's say we wanted to pick up a window and stack it somewhere else. We could do that by clicking on the name and pulling it over somewhere. We get this highlighted blue box, which tells us what's going to happen with the window. In this case, let's drop it up on top of the command window. I guess you see that um, we just moved our window, put them over on this side. I guess if you like them over here, this would be ideal. But um, I'm just going to put them back. Uh, let's see. So we can also move them to the side of the screen too. This this I find really handy because if you use a window a lot, then you can have it hide over in the corner and know it's still there. But only when you need it, put your mouse over top of it and you can bring it back to the screen. Um, let's see. So we can also, other than stacking them and putting them over in the corner, we can, well, we can pop them out, which is called docking and undocking. So why don't we give that a shot? Pull the window out. We now have another window outside of MATLAB. Oh shoot, I forgot Windows 7. I'm gonna shake it right back. But, uh, yeah, we can pull them out. And for some reason, I have them hide back there. I don't know why. Voila, he's gone. But, um, yeah, I'll bring him back. We can dock come back in by pressing this dock button, like so. And docking undocking allows us to take a window out of the screen and put it back in. Um, so why don't we take a look and see what some of these windows do I guess we have the center of the screen this large command window and this is where we're going to be typing in all our MATLAB commands and different things that we're going to be doing in MATLAB I, I think you refer to it as scripting MATLAB script but I'm not sure if MATLAB is a scripting language or not so I can't really say maybe one of you guys could let me know but anyways uh, why don't we type some stuff in here so I'm going to type in a number, random number, and press enter. And MATLAB comes back and says, oh, you typed in a number, blah, blah, blah. And you see it up on the screen. You can also try typing, typing in some other random stuff. Um, I'm going to type in just a sentence. I don't know. Like, um, Uh-oh. I don't know what just happened. So I typed in uh, some phrase and I got an error message back. Yeah. Well, we can actually type in sentences and phrases and things like that, but there's a special way of doing it. And these are called strings, by the way. Um, we'll get more into that when we talk about variables in a future tutorial. But looking at these other windows, we have the command history window. And from here, anything we typed in over here, in the command window, will pop up. And instead of having to retype it again, save us some time, we can always just double click on it. That's one way. Or you can actually pick it up and just drop it over there, press enter again. I don't know why that would be handy to drop it over there when you can just click on it, but eh, personal preference, I guess. And MATLAB has a whole bunch of ways of really doing the same thing anyway, so. I'm sure there are other ways too that are probably even longer and 
not as, uh, well anyways. This window we have here, the variable editor, we'll have more to say about that when we start getting into MATLAB variables and storing values, etc, etc. So you guys familiar with programming, um, you probably have an idea of what to expect, I guess, from this window. We'll be editing our variables from here. But um, if you don't know anything about programming at this point, it's not a really big deal. Um, moving over to our last window, we've got the current folder window. And in this window, um, this is the, win the uh, directory on your computer that MATLAB is currently looking at. Apparently, I'm looking at the MATLAB directory. Um, I guess that's a big surprise. Anyways, um, we can change that and have it look somewhere else. And when MATLAB is looking at a directory, you'll see all the files and folders in that directory. And whenever MATLAB is going to go run something or save a file, this is where it's going to run it or save it from, unless you tell it otherwise. So it's pretty much the current folder window. And down here, what you see where the mouse is, is the start menu of MATLAB, which kind of looks similar to the, uh, I guess, the Windows start menu. But inside here, we have uh, a bunch of different things we can do. Uh, we have, well, we can get our help in here, we have our preferences, we can set, we can find files. I'm just basically saying what I see here, you know. But, um, MATLAB, yeah, we have some other tools at MATLAB we can bring up from here. And this toolboxes uh, menu here will probably depend on what what came with your version of MATLAB. And if you're using it at school or work, it probably depends on the type of things that they chose to get with their version of MATLAB. Um, I got these through school, and I pretty much never use any of them, but we'll probably find a reason to have a tutorial on one or the other sometime down the line. Anyways, that's pretty much the start menu in MATLAB. And last we have these drop down menus at the top. Um, probably the most notable one we have is this desktop drop down menu. And as you see, the command window, command history window, and current folder window, they're all checked off because, well, that's what we got down here right now. And if we were to, say, exit out of one of them, like the uh, history window, come back in here, we see it's off, but we can turn it back on and bring it back. So there's some other things in here, other windows we might need to access later, and we'll get into that in some future tutorials too. But this pretty much concludes everything we need to discuss for the interface for now. I um, hope you enjoyed your first tutorial in MATLAB, and uh, I'll see you in MATLAB tutorial number two. Take care. Bye-bye.